Greetings and welcome to our 40th annual Wild Arts Festival, a virtual and virtuous celebration of art and nature. During challenging times, nature has never meant more to us. Healthy and life-giving habitat for our inspiration and rejuvenation. Places and animals that are here for all of us because you in Portland Audubon have been there for all of them. We've never been prouder to serve our mission, inspiring all people to love and to protect nature. So let's have some fun with over 75 artists and authors spreading the love of nature and art with our greatest fundraiser of the year. Enjoy. Hi, my name's Amanda Jordan Brainerd and I am one of the owners of Backyard Bird Shop. And I just wanna welcome you all here tonight for the Portland Audubon's 40th Wild Arts Festival. We're super excited to have you and we hope you have a wonderful event this week. Hello, I'm Kim Stafford in an old growth forest in Southern Oregon on a beautiful October day. I want to welcome you to the 40th anniversary of the Audubon Wild Arts Festival. You know, the birds, which are basically miracles, have been becoming more various and beautiful for millions of years. And the Wild Arts Festival is only 40 years old, but we're devoted to protecting the beauties of the earth, the wild web of life. Thank you for joining us. Meet the artists, meet the writers, buy beautiful things, support Audubon, and let's all live on this beautiful earth for a long, long time. I think the thing that is most important for me about Portland Audubon is that it really promotes the appreciation of nature. You inspire people to love understand and then protect nature. You know, if people love it, they'll want to understand it. And when they understand it, they want to protect it. I get such joy out of going outside and going on a trail walk and being surrounded by trees and listening to bird songs. We want to make sure that every single person who goes through any of our programs has a deeper connection with nature when they leave. As the Director of Education, I work closely with the small but mighty team to facilitate place-based and nature education that fosters a sense of comfort and ownership of public spaces for people of all ages, including students, families, young adults, and adult learners from across the metro region and beyond. And this takes the form of school field trips. We do a whole host of summer camps, both at the nature sanctuary into the woods or all the way up to the San Juan Islands. We do family events, including a really popular night flight, our Swift Watch, which we were so sad to miss this year. And we facilitate birding walks and classes for adults. And we've been especially excited during COVID to expand our digital class offerings to make our programs more accessible to older adults and people with limited mobility. We know historically that hegemonic power structures have actively excluded Black, Indigenous, and people of color and low-income communities from these spaces. And in order to counter that, we have to approach environmental education with a racial and an economic justice blend and partner directly with people from these communities to redistribute the resources that a hundred-year organization like Portland Audubon has been able to amass and develop programs that dismantle exclusion from the natural world. Audubon's Wildlife Care Center was the first wildlife rehabilitation center in the United States. We've been doing rehabilitation for a hundred years. It is the busiest rehabilitation center in Oregon, treating over 3,000 animals and responding to more than 15,000 phone calls every year. It does incredible research. It helps the public uh, resolve wildlife conflicts. It's an incredible community resource. Their opinion is highly respected both within state and local agencies. When somebody comes to Audubon, for them to be able to find their place within the conservation movement. For some people, that's gonna be going to hearings, going to protests, but for somebody else, 
That may mean joining our backyard certification program. It may mean donating their time to be one of our 150 plus volunteers in the wildlife care center and help fix injured wild animals or to answer the phones and give the public advice on how to live with wildlife. It may mean coming up and being part of one of our sanctuary work parties or participating in a community science program and going out and doing research. If you're interested, you can move on from appreciation to really getting some solid scientific knowledge. And the more you know, the more you care. And when you care, that leads to action. Your support is incredibly important. It's what allows us to be here to help protect wild animals in wild places. It's what funds our work and sustains our work. We greatly appreciate your being with us today and this evening, and um, uh, you're, what, you're what allows us to do what we do. Wild Arts Festival is just a great event, and it's one of the things that I think really builds community around Portland Audubon. Well, I became familiar with the Wild Arts Festival when I was director. At that time, we, we had not enlarged the headquarters building. It was a tiny place, and we had like only room for about 20 artists. Back in the old days, when this was an event that was very small, we used to have a baking contest. <laughs> And the first categories of the first year were cheesecake, chocolate chip cookies, and brownies. I think it was expanded to pumpkin pies the next year, but I'm not sure. <laughs> when we get to go in person, walking around the space, you just feel this special connection with the other people you're with because you all have this one special value that you share, and it's this love of nature. And so everybody just already has some, some type of kinship with each other. And, and it's just a friendly, happy way to celebrate with other people. I personally love doing holiday shopping at the Wild Arts Festival and personal shopping for my house. You know, I think one of the great fun things about the Wild Arts Festival is you do get to meet these incredibly talented artists and authors. The opportunity to meet someone like Robert Michael Pyle or Ursula Gwynn, who attended it for many, many years. People like Susan Allen. She has been there with her cards and calendars for years. Some of the people who have done the posters and flyers for the event, Martha Gannett, Christine Holden, uh, Susan Bordet. It's a wonderful opportunity for the community to get to know Portland Audubon. A lot of the people who attend are not members, but sometimes they become members. So it's, it's great outreach and it supports local artists and authors. And I think that's very, very important, you know, even more than ever. Hi everyone, I'm Molly Reeves, and I'm speaking to you from my backyard in Lake Oswego with an important message about the Portland Audubon Society. Most of you know me as a studio artist, busy communicating using shapes and lines and color. I'm completely inspired by the Northwest. Portland Audubon Society has a strong history in the Northwest. They have been protecting the environment for many years and it's their 40th anniversary this year. So I'm encouraging everybody to fill their homes with fine art and also purchase gifts for this amazing, worthy cause. Please join me in supporting the Portland Audubon Society by participating in this year's 40th anniversary Wild Arts Festival. Happy 40th anniversary Wild Arts Festival and congratulations Portland Audubon for putting on this festival for so many years including this year when we can't all be there together. I'm always so proud to have an organization like Portland Audubon here locally, working on behalf of biodiversity and birds and conservation, and also dedicated to, to diversity, inclusion, and creating a more equitable society and community. So thank you all again. Thanks for including me. My name's Garrett Venn, and I hope to see you all next year. Congratulations. Hello folks, 
Larry Olson here, greeting you from my photographic studio. I look forward to sharing with you new work from the Columbia Gorge, Hell's Canyon area, the Oregon coast, and even Japan. I want to welcome you to the 40th annual Wild Arts Festival and thank Audubon for their role in protecting the environment. It's been a pleasure to be part of this for more than 30 years. Please support Audubon and the Wild Arts Festival and stay safe. Hello everyone, I'm Bob Pyle and how happy I am to add my voice to the chorus of congratulations hailing down upon Portland Audubon for the 40th anniversary of the Wild Arts Festival. Aside from my own good luck in taking part nearly all of those years, I am delighted to commend all those whose hard work has made the festival happen for your incomparable success in bringing art and artists, books and their authors, all inspired by the lands and waters and plants and creatures to the attention and hands of all those who need them. And in so doing, bringing about more conservation than we can ever know. Thank you, Wild Arts Fair, and a mighty congratulations.